Hi guys, it's Ghostops back here with a new video, and this time it's the Guild Wars 2 beta again. The weekend is over, but uh, this is the stress test, and I'm going to finish off the classes that I didn't had the time to play in the test. The beta, anyways. So, we are today going to take a look at the Ranger, and uh, we're going to take a look at the spells and abilities on our left, and the ones to the right. Um, so let's get started, shall we? The Huntress, uh, the Ranger, is ranged, of course, that so you can hear it in the name, and basically every weapon it uses uh, is ranged. E even if you see here, we have equipped dual axes, even those are ranged. Those are throwing. So, this is a ranged character in every means. It's not like you compare it to a Hunter in WoW, you can use melee weapons. This uses only ranged, right? But sh should we get started off here? You, have you also have a pet, which has some kind of interesting abilities, not that, not really interesting, but yeah. So, we are starting off with dual axes here. And our first spell, Ryoshet, as I demonstrated right here, it's your auto attack. You just throw axes, alright? Pretty simple. Then you go over to Split Blade, that is a spread of axes, an AoE, and it will make them bleed, alright? As you see, I'm quite out-leveled. Uh, from these guys, so there's I will be just instantly killing them. Our third spell is Winter Spite, which which is an axe you, that you throw, of course, which chills them and slows them, which is really great for kiting. Uh, and we have because we have two axes equipped, we have two additional axe spells. The first one is Puff of Scars, which is boomerangs an axe in a line striking foes on the way, which is a kind of AOE. There's quite a lot of people on the stress test now, so if I'm run out of mobs, I might have to change the location. We are testing this in. Uh, it's basically a boomerang AoE thingy. And our fifth spell, Werveling Defense, is this. It's awesome, right? Deflects arrows and parries and does damage. Quite a lot of damage also. Let's take a look at the pet abilities before we change weapons, alright? You have Attack Target. Which basically, if I have this person targeted and I press it, it will attack. F2, if there are any allies except me in the area, it will buff. It will grant them a buff. Uh, so if you are quite a lot of people in a party or just doing a quest together, use it and uh, you will get the buff. They, I don't believe you get the buff, but they will. And you can change from guard to avoid combat. Guard is basically your passive stance or defensive stance and avoid combat is that is the passive stance all right and you can actually click the pet here and manage it you could choose a new pet when you have unlocked them i don't really know how to unlock pets yet but you get to choose from three starting pets in the beginning here you see the abilities and you can rename it i named it kitty for now but yeah we'll see about that Alright, let's change up the weapons. We are now going to use a Mighty Warhorn. Which is a Warhorn, Warhorn, of course. And we're going to get two new spells here. Hunter's Call, which does this. No, I can't show it because I killed them too fast. But it calls a swarm of ho uh, hawks at your foe. Which is, uh, many birds will come down and peck on him until he dies. And this is Call of the Wild. I haven't actually used this spell yet, so I'm not... 100% certain of what it does But it buffs you it makes you run faster it increases your damage your might and It grants you it grants to nearby allies too, which is great That makes you a bit of a support Not really but kind of and we have our most uh, Characteristic weapon for the ranger the longbow uh, your standard one spell, fire. It does quite a lot of damage and will easily take down your targets, but it's slow. So that's why you could use your second spell here, rapid fire. Which, uh, by the name, is it does rapid fire. It fires very rapidly, alright? More really to explain there, except that I'm having FPS drops. Alright. I'm having just the same errors right now that I had with when I was doing the Necromancer video. 
I don't know what it does, but it drops my FPS when I start to record. Alright, I'm going to cut my little mishaps with that out. And we are just going to continue here. So, our third spell here is Hunter's Shot. Fire an arrow that makes your foe vulnerable. And your pet gains a bit of moment speed. So, we are just going to... Yeah, you see, our pet gets faster there. A lot faster, actually. And then you have your Point Blank Shot. Which pushes the target back. Unfortunately, these are worms and won't be pushed back. And I'm actually out of range. But you get the idea, right? And Barrage I haven't actually unlocked yet. But, there was a bug in the stress test here, so I got resetted back. A bit. I had actually unlocked the spell, but for some reason I was resetted back. But it's basically a Barrage, an AoE spell. That uh, you fire some arrows over a quite big area. And yeah, it's AoE. Nothing much more to say about that. Now, I believe I have shown every weapon available. I don't believe I could get any other weapon. Maybe the shortbow, but I haven't equipped it yet. And I don't really know where I could get one for the moment. There's no weapons when they're over here. So we'll just have to stick with what I got. So, alright. Now we are moving on to our abilities on the right. The heal as one, which is your standard heal, heals you and your pet. Nothing spectacular about it at all. It's just so basic you don't understand. And then you have troll agent, uh, agent. Uh, you and your pet generate health over time, and it also it is also a heal, but it doesn't heal very much. It heals only for ninety. Healing Spring creates a healing spring that heals you and your pet once placed. It's like a light well from World of Warcraft. I can make that comparison, maybe. You might understand. Somebody get those idiots no, away from not the now. Pipes. I don't have time for your p petty events. And then we have p Prayer to Dwana, which is a also basic heal, but it doesn't heal my pet. So this one is definitely better. Better. All right. Now we are moving on to. Let's just move here before our FPS drops in the floor. The pipe. Again. Alright. 10 FPS is not good. BRB. Alright. We are back. Even though I had a small FPS drop there, we are still going here. Alright. Spike Trap, which is a very characteristic spell here. You place a trap on the ground. Nothing seems, nothing unusual about it. But when an enemy step in it. Wham, it will go up and it he will take damage and get bleeded. In 10 seconds I'm going to show the second spell that I've unlocked. In the meantime we can check at what armor we wear. We can wear medium armor, alright? And our underwater weapon of choice is spear gun. We can also take a look at the traits here, just like flame trap, sign to renewal, sharpening stone, and to... Super elite skills and four elite skills. I don't know if you call them super elite or whatever, but they need a bit of unlocking to unlock. That sounded kind of weird. Never mind. Oh yeah, you could have a short bow too. Unfortunately, I'm not able to show it. You could also have a dagger and great sword. Holy crap! There's so much I'm missing right now. But the stress test is a is a stress test, and I'm a bit stressed right now. So let's move on. Sun spirit. Someone's a uh, sun spirit. Yeah. This guy will make nearby allies deal fire damage. Buff nearby allies. Will, let's see if it procs here. Let's see if we can get a proc. Without the drop FPS dropping, thank you. No, we cannot. Oh, oh, damn it. FPS dropping all the frippin' time. And, but, I'm going to show you here. When your sun spirit is done, you can solar flare, which is a... Well, it didn't do it now, but it's going to be a, like a blast. A little spell blast that deals damage. Alright. I think I'm going on for quite a while now. You have your standard roll. There's nothing usual about that. Unusual. So I think I'm done with my ranger spotlight. Thank you guys for watching. It's been Ghost Ups here playing the Guild Wars 2 stress test. See you next time. Bye guys. <laughs>